Oh man, we're just starting, huh? A Universal Interactive Studios production. Oh man, we're getting like this whole intro. Created and developed by Naughty Dog. This is intense. All right, I just did some audio. Whoa, everyone, what, 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 what was that horse? Wait, what did I just see there? <laughs> We're excited. Hey there, everyone, this is Al Cow Play Crash Bandicoot Warp. Three, oh, the three and the clock is red. I love Crash 1 and 2, so let's see how 3 treats me. Here we go. Video game. PlayStation. Does it have subtitles this time? It's like one was a base, two build up on it. Apparently three builds up on two, so looking forward to see what that means. Last time, yeah, Dr. Cortex's space station was exploded, and now he's a ghost. Oh shoot, he was speaking, and I didn't hear anything. And now Crash has a giant yo-yo. It looks like we brought the polar bear here. We're just going. Uka, Uka is free. No, it cannot be. Oh, that's another name. Evil, okay. great evil has come. Uka Uka. It's like an evil rutabaga. It's a parsnip. None have dared to fail to break Uka Uka even once. But you, Cortex, you have failed me twice. Great. Uka Uka, it was that infer Bandicoot. From deep inside my temple prison, I sent you simple instructions to follow. But you lost the gems, you lost the crystals, and I have lost my patience! There is now no other power source left on this planet. I know we've had a few unfortunate setbacks and failed but since your bumbling has managed to set me free i am feeling generous there is still a way for us to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet and this time this time the great uka uka um, will make sure that you do it right some kind of magnet After bot many eons my evil twin Uka Uka has been freed from his underground prison. Long ago, I locked him there to protect the world from his malice. Now, free once again, he must be stopped. He was just kind of jumping around in that house. Like, nothing's staying steady. Everything's kind of, like, shaking a bit. Children, Uka Uka and Cortex plan to use this time-twisting machine to gather crystals that lay scattered across time. I have okay. brought you here to recover the crystals before they do so. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck. I wish there was subtitles. Like, uh, Uka Uka I can understand pretty well. But everything on Team Evil is just impossible to understand. Alright, so here we are. Uh... This is very similar. <laughs> so we got Lotse, we got Coco here, just hanging out on the HUD. Duck, jump, attack. Okay, we still got that going. Still got a kick going. So, all right, I don't get hurt. So this is like the first world I take it. And like the greater hub, whoa, and there we got the levels. Wow, they're being very straightforward. Toad Village. Okay, what is going on there? We got, like, some kind of centurion? Okay, you can go anywhere. There's a crystal, a gem, and an onk. I don't know what facial expression that means on Crash's face. Let's just go, I guess. Toad Village. Do you mean, like, Toad? Well, I, what a stupid sentence. But you know what I mean. Like, it's not gonna be a- Crash, crash, crash. I... Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh, look, I have a mask helping me, too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. There's a little audio pop here and there when he speaks. I, I guess maybe in CRTs you didn't hear. Oh, whoa, this is detailed. All right, so I don't know what to expect, really. 
Uh, I'm expecting similar rules. That hen is afraid. Oh, shoot. Can I still. Uh. Well, uh, I screwed that one up. Unless I can. Eh! Maybe if I. Uh. Okay, there we go. I saved the day. So we're like in like a medieval little, like, environment here. I don't really know what to expect. Like I said, I'm just kind of doing the level. We'll see what happens. That's a goat. Royal goat. Here we go. Okay, there's water. Water is fine. We can run across it fine. There's this big old hut. Yeah, Rutabaga's bag. Here we go. Big old road. Alright, so a lot of the same rules we're used to. I don't know what's going on with this. I guess you get whatever prize is in the thing and I got the nothing. Got it. Birds, they're afraid of me. That's- there's the toad! There we go. We did it. Mystery absolved. There's a guy with a sword. He looks- he's having fun. And he disappeared. I'm just destroying a man. There's a sun- okay, I can't go there. So we're still very much on a rail. Like here again, really much feels like a path, but now I'm stuck. What's that? Okay, bonus zone still exists? Here we go! Well, except- uh, okay. Well, it's like the gen- oh, jeez. Uh, what's going on here? Depositing me at castle. Yeah, bonus. Here we go. Gonna get all these apples, mangoes, and forests. Gonna destroy all that box and forget all my lunch. Okay, you get a little counter for the bonus zone there down there. That's kind of neat. You, so you know. Well, that's cool. That you can <gasps> I got a counter right there? So I just know from the start. Well, that's a bit too nice. I'm getting worried. Um, I pause. So 25 crystals. There's not really much in terms of info here. If I go in the options, it's just sound. Got it. I was hoping it'd be, hey, do you want subtitles? Doesn't ask. Can I destroy this goat? I feel bad, like it was bleating. You don't destroy a bleeding goat. Now that's their defense mechanism, the goat got a big frog. This is chillin'. Why would I destroy it? Ridiculous notion. I'm gonna flop around. So if I press start, okay, but if I press that button, no. Oh ho! So I can access this at all times. So I always know I can oh, that's you just know from the start. That's really nice. Uh we destroy we hurt one another there, that toad and I. Uh, no lessons were learned. Alright, he self-destroyed. So we got pink crystals in the world. That hasn't changed. Good to know. We got a big old crazy land bridge. Uh, got two more boxes. Fine. And uh, it's probably those two boxes. And then there's a big ghost box there. I'm assuming that, yeah, 41, 42. It just says so outright. There we go. It turns into a gem. Then we get ourselves a big old portal. So that's how the game works. It's very similar to what I'm used to. The, the first time I don't have like a ton of trouble, which is weird. Just heard a weird squeak. I don't know if it was... Oh, okay. That's how you do it. What's the onk? I gotta do a crashy dance. Last time at the end of Crash 2, I interrupted him on the last time he could dance and I felt bad. What's up with that onk? It says time trial, and it says one minute three on the side, so... Crash, Coco, if you have already retrieved a level's crystal, uh -huh. then you will find a floating clock when you enter for the second time. Okay. This floating clock activates time trial mode. I see. Grab it, and the clock will start ticking. Race for the end to get the best time. But beware, some elements will change. Oh! Okay. Oh, maybe to be more speedrun friendly? It's... it's possible. Yeah, there's a clock, like, right there. So... okay. So now I'm playing time trial mode. And that's just, like, an official part of every level here. So on my hip... You know exactly... whoa, what's that? Oh, okay, so you get boxes with, like, anti-time on them. Got it. Okay, makes sense. Since you want this. Yeah, and- Oh, it freezes- Okay. It's not quite anti-time, it freezes time, which- Same difference, really. And it removes that thing, so you don't ride it by accident. That's just nice. 
Look at that. I'm gonna anti-freeze my time. There we go. But which, I mean, I will freeze it completely. So you don't really... It's... This is a little confusing because that means, like, you don't actually know the actual time you got. <laughs> because it's kind of an arbitrary number that takes into consideration the fact that you use sorcery to distort the laws of time and space. But hey, you know what? Who cares, really? Here we go. So I get to the end. Yeah! And then, there you go. It shows. Best time. I did it. Had, like, a whole, like, five second of let. I can not I don't want to put my name, though. Well, I'll put it this once. Hopefully it saves my name and it's happy. If you know it, you know, do a backflip. Quick 360 McFlippy. And there we go! This is the game loop. It says about right there. Look at that. Oh. Oh, I got a gold time now? Um. I don't... I don't, if it doesn't give me a reward like a Nonk, I'm not interested. Like, look, I've got I've got all the things here. I'm all right. Let's do a second level. This is going like super under pressure. Let's sing a song. Like it's so weird just being able to perform okay right at the start. Uh, so under pressure. Oh, now we're swimming. How does this? Okay, so Jaum gives you a boost forward. Control a bit weird, my friend, the Bendicoot. There's a fish. There's a mime. That fish just disappeared, but so did my. No, it didn't. My Mazadon disappeared. It just went on top of the screen. Okay. Alright. Swimming in the breeze. Those fish are just fish to be there. It's a friendly fish, and there's a cyber disc. <laughs> Alright, this is silly, but I kind of get it. This is kind of neat. There's some more eel. Got an eater octopus. Alright, destroy the world and most things within. I'm assuming there's still gonna be shenanigans where, you know, you gotta find, like, a secret exit in level 10 to be able to get, like, a couple of box in level 3, something like that. Like, that's what the second game taught me. What a cool puffer fish. That was a sweet puffer fish. This is giving me huge Earthworm Gym vibes. Like the underwater level with like all the pipes and bops. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, is this a thing? I guess it's just like part of the background. Like you can't go through this, it's just not, uh, it's decor. It is decoration. It is aesthetic. It is a style. All about the style. All right. Well, there, there's a machine of some kind. Okay. Uh, some kind of speed thing that throws missiles on the casual. No casual missile. This is what bandicoots are all about. Yeah. There we go. Uh, get out of here. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Destroy that coral reef. We don't need that. We're in Australia. Uh, I'm just gonna look at my meter up there at all times now. Look at that. Some of them might have been hidden in the corral like that, or that's a new thing, I don't know. Rutabaga's is just kind of chilling, enjoying the view, so, so the conceit, I guess, is that we're going through time. We're in the time of water. <laughs> we don't have this. Whoa, we can destroy the mines. Whoa, okay, yeah, just, yeah, enough so y'all, everything. Yeah, so, uh, hey, where'd my thing go? It just left my hands. I can't shoot missiles anymore. Game is over. We have reached our logical peak as I carefully swim inside this aquarium. Being able to check without pausing or anything by pressing an extra button. Okay, so, oh hi, Morel Eel. I pressed uh, one of the corner buttons there to see if anything would happen. You guys are like really slow chain chomps. It's pretty exciting. All right, look at that. Destroy you. Yeah, I think that these were only included once you got the ability to destroy them logically, so... There we go. Did it. Destroy the universe. Get out of here. I just want to destroy the world if you don't agree. Well, go over there where it is free to sit on a cushion and forget everything that you know about dreams. I don't know what I'm saying. That's nothing new. Gonna get that pink gem. That's, oh, I destroyed a mine that was here too. Yes, yeah, one more. Maybe 
one more. There's a big fish. Big fish. Big saucers. Wait. So I missed one box somewhere? That's what that's telling me. I mean... Could it be, like, beyond? Nope, there's the portal. And then I just lost my thing. Okay, um... Yeah, that's a bother. Let's look around, like... I guess it's not impossible... Well, I just got her there. I guess it's not impossible that it might be somewhere... In this first half? One missing box. It could be anywhere. Alright. Oh, jeez. Well, there we go. Plane Crash Bandicoot. Gotta return the level. Well, okay, so that's attack. So that goes faster than using the jump. Attacking is more efficient. Of course it would be. Like, I don't think it's destroying this box. The only middle box I see. No, Crash is only interested in breaking wooden boxes. That's his style. Yeah, whoa, everything just kind of flew off. That's kind of weird. That's kind of neat. I mean, it's realistic. Only he can travel through time. Alright, so there's gonna be a time zone, but I'm also missing a box. Like, I doubt that the missing box is due to, like, something. Like, a warp that you come from another place. Dang it. Uh, wait. So because of that, uh, that's sweet. I mean, be careful. I have no idea which, where I missed it, or what I missed, but I got it this time. <laughs> Just one box somewhere that I didn't touch, and yeah, it wasn't a big puzzle. It was... I just missed it. It was somewhere, and then it wasn't. Video game. So I guess... Man, so... Now I have to time trial everyone, though. But that, so... It bothers me a little bit that this means like there's not like a third like stunt crystal like that has a weird condition that's unique like it's always gonna be a time trial um i mean standardization is is is, is good and all but all right so like power up before there we go so entering time trial do this fast. Okay. I thought I had a mask. I guess the bomb doesn't care about mask. Alright, well, first death there. Alright, so I don't know how to go fast other than just tapping this button like a madman. And like that's a bad move because I'm pretty sure it took me more than two seconds to get the thing. Like, that's just not, like, it's not a profit. Like, don't do that. Avoid doing that. Yeah, see, it feels like I hit, I got hit for the equivalent of two hits. Because mm, I thought I had to. Oh, whoops, well, yeah, there was, like, an extra time thing in there. Well, I didn't get it. That's just... I don't want to go too crazy, because there are enemies like that. And I feel like, oh jeez, just having the swimming machine is just overall the best idea for in terms of raw time, but I'm still gonna try here. I wonder if there's a way to squeeze in there. Maybe, maybe not. Dude, just get in there. 
Yeah, I'm alright, I got hurt. There's another swim machine right here. Right, let's just go fast, go fast. This is not going particularly fast. Yeah, it's not go fast if I get hurt like an idiot. Uh, especially not if I die. It's like I'm like basically there. So really, the story is you have way more than enough time for at least the arc. Like the, the goal time's probably a lot faster, but I, I'm I'm just going for what's getting me. Pro oh, I'm gonna have to retime it out all the time. What is this? Well, this is row. It's brr. Look, dude, stay on the dun. It's all I ask of you here, man. These are my only demands. Uh, so this is the first episode of Crash 3, and honestly, this went pretty good. This went significantly better than the start of the previous crashes. Maybe I'm internalizing the principles of the game. Uh, that's a really silly thought there, Alcal. Stop being ridiculous, alright?